Is it Aiton first up, you think? Let's start with that. What do yes. you think? Okay. Done deal. Not even close. I mean, it's close, but um, this kid is a unique big man. We're talking about uh, uh, the new era of the NBA, small ball, versatility. But he's 7'1", 260. He moves his feet great. He's a tremendous athlete. Uh, he's got a killer instinct that we didn't see in high school because he just kind of floated. But he told us this morning when we got a chance to interview him on uh, Sirius uh, NBA radio that Sean Miller really dared him from day one to bring effort every single day. And, and Rich, when I watched him in person and on tape, uh, his effort level is high. And this is a, you know, this is a, it's a no-brainer. Keep in mind, you and I would know this, but not a lot of listeners. Um, the last time the Phoenix Suns were in this position, it's the first time they've ever had the number one pick. They lost a coin toss for Lou Alcindor, and they ended up with Neil Walk. So uh, it's a good day for the Suns tomorrow night because they'll get a chance to get a franchise player. So then if you are um, next up and you're Sacramento, who do you pull the trigger on right there? Uh, now, this is the tricky one. They have the toughest decision in the draft because they're staring at, you know, Marvin Bagley, a precocious high school kid who, you know, can be a young man that went to Duke and uh, put up 20 and 10 this year. Or, you know, again, the inter- international man of mystery, Luka Doncic. The 19-year-old uh, wonderkin from Slovenia, um, and, and it looks like you would say with with Vlade there, with Peja Stojakovic as the assistant GM, that Doncic might be the guy. But this is the tough part for uh, Vlade. They cannot get this wrong, Rich. I, I would personally take Marvin Bagley, um, but um, this is a this is going to be the the call of the night because everything else. After the Doncic Bagley uh, pick for the Kings will determine, you know, where everybody else falls. So that, he, they've got the toughest job in the draft. So what about the idea that John, Doncic is more polished than uh, Porzingis was, and we all know what a purple unicorn he's turned out to be? What about that, Fran? Yeah, well, I think uh, there's no question he's the most decorated player to ever come out of Europe uh, as a young player. Now, is he going to average thirty thousand? Is he going to score thirty thousand points like Dirk? Probably not. Does he have the, uh, the, you know, the unique physical ability of Greek freak? Probably not. Will he win championships the way Gasol has? We'll see. That that remains to be seen. But what he is is the best way to describe him, Rich, is think about Gordon Hayward type physical ability and skill with Mono Ginobili's brain. Um, this kid uh, is quick of mind, Larry Bird like, Magic LeBron like in terms of the way he sees the game. Um, I question some of the athleticism, so that's why I would go Bagley. But um, this, this, this kid's a unique player, if only because of what he's done at such a young age in Europe. He doesn't have the seven-two wingspan and, and athleticism of, of Porzingis, but he's uh, he's got an incredible feel for the game. So then, why why do you go Bagley over Doncic here? I, I would feel more comfortable knowing knowing that um, what I saw in Bagley is a kid that. Again, nearly seven feet, very athletic, can score, uh, plays with a high motor. Um, you know, I, I think he's a guy that um, Sacramento could plug in and get 20 points and 10 rebounds next year. Fran Fraschilla here on the Rich Eisen Show. Uh, who do you think the Hawks should go at three then, Fran? Well, then I think, then I think they'll go Doncic because they're rebuilding. Um, again, he is an incredible teammate. Uh, new, the new coach, Lloyd Pierce, has been in Philly with Simmons. He's been in Golden State with Steph and, and Clay Thompson. Um, I think this. I think Doncic would be a nice uh, building block for the future, because um, again, and, and and let me tell you, I could be wrong about him going too, and he could end up being uh, a guy that Sacramento builds around, but. If, if I'm if I'm feeling badly at two, then I think Doncic has to go three. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.